detecting red flags in audit reports. Credit portfolio red flags. Significant shifts in the bank's risk rating profile or increase in the number or dollar amount of problem or watch loans as a percent of loans, in aggregate, or for loan types. Large or increasing volume of loans granted or renewed with policy exceptions. Large or increasing volume of credit slash collateral exceptions. Rapid growth in total loan volume or particular types of lending. Loans remaining on the problem loan list for extended periods of time without resolution. Loan review personnel reporting to a person's other than the board, a board committee, or a unit independent of the lending function. Delinquent internal loan reviews or late identification of problem loans. Change in scope and frequency of internal loan reviews. Large concentrations of credit. Loans to directors, significant shareholders, management, other insiders, and third parties performing services for the bank, external accountants, auditors, and marketing firms. Loans to affiliates. Excessive out-of-territory lending. Excessive reliance on third-party loan brokers or service providers. Borrowers on the overdraft or uncollected funds reports. Growth in the all that is significantly greater or less than the percentage growth in total loans over a given period. Non-performing or problem loans as a percentage of total loans increasing at a rate greater than the all. Loan officer compensation tied solely to growth or volume targets, i.e. Without credit quality attributes. Insufficient controls when purchasing loans. Thanks for watching.